Welcome back to the another discussion here. So here I am going to discuss the exponent of prime number in n factorial. Suppose you see, I want to find out exponent of 2 in 33 factorial. That is my question. That means I am asking in 33 factorial, 2 is there how many times? That is the meaning of exponent of 2 in 33 factorial. Right? So, 30 you see, suppose a 6 factorial, 6 factorial can be written as a 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Here 1 time 2 is there, here 2 is there 2 times, here 1 more time 2 is there. Total 6 factorial can be written as 2 to the power of 4 into some other numbers multiplication. In these other numbers, there is no involvement of 2. So, that is the meaning of exponent of 2 in 6 factorial. That means in 6 factorial, 2 is there how many times? 4 times is there. So, 6 factorial can be written as a 2 power of 4 into some other numbers multiplication. In these other numbers, there is no involvement of 2. Okay, that's the discussion I am going to use. This is the notation. Exponent of 2 in 33 factorial. What is the meaning for this? We have to find out exponent of 2 in 33 into 32 into 31 into 30 into and so on. 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. The exponent of 2 in 33 factorial. In this is 33 factorial. Are here whatever the exponent of 2. Here 2 is there how many times? Here also 2 will be same number of times. 32 into 30 into and so on. 6 into 4 into 2. In this number 2 present how many times? In this number also 2 present those many times only. The reason is here there is no involvement of 2. Here also there is no involvement of 2. Here also there is no involvement of 2. Here also there is no involvement of 2. Right? So now observe here. In these terms, this can be written as a 2 into 16. This can be written as a 2 into 15. 2 into 3. 2 into 2. 2 into 1. So I am writing all those 2's outside. Then what happens? 16 times 2 is there. That 16 times 2 I am writing outside. It is not the meaning of 16 plus something. 16 times 2 I am writing outside. That is the meaning. 16 plus exponent of 2 in the remaining terms. Remaining terms what? 16 into 15 into and so on. 3 into 2 into 1. So here 2 into 16, 2 outside. 2 into 15, 2 outside. 2 into 3, 2 outside. 2 into 2, 1, 2 outside. 2 into 1. Now here whatever the exponent of 2 Exponent of 2 in 16 into 14 into 12 into and so on 4 into 2. Here whatever the 2 how many times? Here also 2 will be same number of times. Now it is 8 times we are writing outside. 16 plus 8 plus again the exponent of 2 in the remaining terms. Remaining terms means what? 8, 6, 4, 2. Again how many times? 4 times we have to write outside. 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus the exponent of 2 in the remaining terms. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Again we can write that one as 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus exponent of 2 in 4 into 2. So that we can write 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus exponent of 2 in 2 into 1. That is nothing but 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That means in 33 factorial, 2 is there these many times. 24 plus 4, 28, 31 times. That's why finally we can write in this way. 33 factorial can be written as 2 to the power of 31 into some other numbers multiplication. No doubt. In those other numbers, there is no involvement of 2. In 33 factorial, 33 factorial, 
2 is there 31 times the same question we can do it in another way very easily this is the way we will follow observe here so exponent of a prime number in n factorial the exponent of prime number in n factorial is given by n by p integral part next n by p square next n by p cube plus and so on we have to ex extend this one wherever this integral part is becoming zero where the integral part becomes zero till the time we have to extend now observe here i want to find out the exponent of 2 in 33 factorial how to find out the exponent of 2 in 33 factorial in shortcut way 33 divided by 2 next plus 33 divided by 2 square next 33 divided by 2 cube yes next 33 divided by 2 to the power of 4 next 33 divided by 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 5 is 32 next one you will get 64 33 by 64 means you will get 0 point something integral part of 0 point something is 0 only so that's why we are getting here 16 times plus 8 times 8 point something integral part of 8 point something is 8 next year you will get 4 point something that's why 4 here 2 point something that's why 2 then you will get 1 so that's why exponent of 2 in 33 factorial is equals to same 31 suppose i want to find out the exponent of 2 in 100 factorial come on find out what is the exponent of 2 in 100 factorial so the exponent of 2 in 100 factorial is given by same we have to write 100 divided by 2 next 100 divided by 4 next 100 divided by 2 cube that is 8 plus 100 divided by 2 to the power of 4 100 divided by 2 to the power of 5 100 divided by 2 to the power of 6 that's all no need to proceed further now let's simplify you will get the exponent of 2 in 100 factorial as this total simplification you will get 97 so that's why we can write the exponent of 2 the exponent of 2 in 100 factorial is equals to 97 in 100 factorial 2 is there 97 times in a similar way if you want to find out the exponent of 3 in 100 factorial same 100 divided by 3 next you will get 100 divided by 3 square next we will get 100 divided by 3 cube plus 100 divided by 3 to the power of 4 that's all the next term becomes 243 100 divided by 243 you will get more than that 0 point something that's why 0 now you are getting exponent of 3 in 100 factorial is equal to this summation you can check you will get 48 times that's why you can write the exponent of 3 in 100 factorial is equal to 48 times in a similar way can you find out the exponent of 5 in 100 factorial exponent of 5 in 100 factorial means what 100 by 5 plus 100 by 5 square so that's all this is nothing but 20 plus 4 24 so we are getting exponent of 5 in 100 of factorial is equals to 24 suppose he is asking the exponent of 10 exponent of 10 in 100 of factorial exponent of 10 in 100 of factorial means 100 divided by 10 plus 100 divided by 10 square next term becomes 0 100 by 10 is equals to 10 100 by 10 square is equals to 1 this is wrong the reason is we are discussing exponent of prime number prime number prime number in n factorial by this method but this 10 is not a prime number but how to find out the exponent of 10 in 100 factorial 
how to find out the exponent of 10 in 100 factorial just now we got the information 100 factorial can be written as 2 to the power of 97 into 3 to the power of 48 into 5 to the power of 24 into some other numbers multiplication no doubt in these other numbers there is no involvement of 2, 3, 5 because already the exponent of 2, exponent of 3, exponent of 5 written so that's why in these other numbers there is no involvement of 2 there is no involvement of 3 there is no involvement of 5 also we are finding the exponent of 10 right so that's why what I am doing observe here this can be written as 2 to the power of 24 into 5 to the power of 24 into 2 to the power of next 73 into 3 to the power of 48 into some other numbers multiplication now you can observe this is equals to 10 power 24 because 2 5 combination only you will get 10 because 2 into 5 10 power 24 into some other numbers multiplication no doubt in these other numbers there is no involvement of 2 and 5 combination 2 5 together won't appear that's why we can write 100 factorial the exponent of 10 is equals to 24 now suppose they are asking in the question the number of zeros at the end of 100 factorial number of zeros at the 6 factorial is there 6 factorial value can be written as 720 the 720 at the end of 726 factorial how many zeros are there only one zero that we can write it as 72 into 10 power 1 so that means in 6 factorial whatever the exponent of 10 whatever the exponent of 10 so there is many zeros are present similarly in 100 factorial the number of zeros at the end of 100 factorial means we have to think what is the exponent of 10 in 100 factorial the exponent of 10 in 100 factorial is 24 24 that's why what we can say the number of zeros number of zeros at the end of at the end of 100 factorial is equals to 24 we can say right so another question here he is asking what is the exponent of 15 he is asking exponent of 15 in 100 factorial here also 15 is not a prime number so we know 100 factorial can be written as 3 to the power of 48 into 5 to the power of 24 into some other numbers multiplication right so you know 15 is the combination of 3 and 5 together that's why we can write this one as 3 into 5 whole to the power of 24 into 3 power 24 into some other numbers multiplication now what is the exponent of 15 15 is there 24 times in 100 factorial so this is another question they are asking what is the exponent of 7 the exponent of 7 in 100 c 50 he is asking to find the exponent of 7 in 100 c 50 i hope so everyone know 100 c 50 can be written as this can be written as 100 factorial divided by 50 factorial into 50 factorial okay first of all i will find out the exponent of 7 in 100 factorial yes 100 factorial can be written as 100 divided by 7 integral part plus 100 divided by 7 square right so 100 divided by 7 means you will get 14 plus 2 total we are getting 16 times so I can write the exponent of 2 in exponent of 7 in 100 factorial is equals to 16 times but at the same time we have to find out the exponent of 7 in 50 factorial exponent of 7 in 50 factorial means what to do 50 divided by 7 plus 50 divided by 7 square that's all remaining terms become 0 50 by 7 means you will get 7 plus 1 total we are getting 8 so what is the meaning of that 100 factorial divided by 50 factorial into 50 factorial here I can write in 100 factorial 7 is there 16 times into some other numbers multiplication no doubt in these other numbers there is no involvement of 7 
by again 50 factorial. In 50 factorial, 7 is there how many times? 8 times. That's why I can write 7 power 8 into some other numbers multiplication. In these other numbers, there is no involvement of 7. At the same time, again here also same. This can be written as 7 power 8 into like this we can write. What we can say now? 7 power 16. 7 power 16 cancelled. The exponent of 7 in 100 C, 50 is 0. Right? So that is the way to proceed this particular questions. Finding the exponent of prime number in n factorial. Okay? Bye-bye.